Hello, I'm Phil Gonzalez and this is Pat Gonzalez, my wife of 31 years. We're here in Rosa's house. And you're going to say, what's Rosa's house? In 2017, in October of 2017, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. Uh, breast cancer is a journey, folks. It's not something you're going to stay in and park at, but something you're going to get through. And what we learned getting through it at home with the help of wonderful professionals like Dr. Garza and the team we had at PRMA, it's really, really important to be in a calm, prepared environment. That was our perception anyway. And so we had had uh, the ability to purchase our neighbor's home, Rose, who had been our neighbor for 27 years, who had cancer, not breast cancer, but cancer, and uh, unexpectedly passed away in May of 2017. So in September 2017, we were able to purchase her home, thinking we were going to turn it into either an Airbnb or an out-and-out -out rental, or maybe flip it. We didn't know, um, but we knew that's what we wanted to do. What we did learn through PMRA was that many people travel to San Antonio, not only from outside, just outside of San Antonio, but outside of the state, and in some cases, from what we understand, also outside of the country because they're the best. They've been doing this the longest, and personally, I could say, to me, they're the best. So we set out to turn this into a home for breast cancer warriors that have to travel here, um, so that their option right now is to stay in a hotel where they would need to either rent a recliner slash lift chair, or have a very big person with them that can help them up because you need a little help. Also a commercial grade shower chair. Um, and just a, a private, comfortable environment. Um, when I, one of my friends that uh, traveled from Kentucky stayed in a hotel and her option was to walk the corridors of the hotel. I was like, oh, that's just wrong. That's just so wrong. It's not private. It's not personal. It's not what you want to be doing. So um, that's what we've done. Uh, we hope that um, it meets those expectations for everyone because we've poured our heart into it. Um, we've learned so much. We thought we were going to be doing this by ourselves. And we'd still be working on it if that had been the case. But we were blessed with many good friends, many people that are now friends that we had no idea who they were or that why they would want to help us. But um, either by donations or by um, physical labor of coming to help us, um, we have learned to say thank you instead of, oh, I can do this myself. Because it really does take a great support team to get well, and it takes a fabulous support team to get to where we are today at Rose's house.